Father Bill is a native of Milwaukee, graduating from Market High School in 1971. After graduation, he attended the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee, the Western Jesuit School of Theology, and Harvard Graduate School of Education. Father Bill was the founding, on the founding leadership team of El Cristo Rey High School in the Twin Cities, which later led to his involvement in starting Cristo Rey Jesuit High School in Milwaukee. It is my pleasure to present to you Father Bill Johnson. Good morning, members of the Common Council. Just to um, bring us to the moment, on uh, two days ago on Sunday, we've celebrated the Feast of Christ the King, Cristo Rey. And, um, and next Sunday, we begin preparing for Christmas in Advent. Uh, but the day after tomorrow, we give thanks as a country. So um, let us pray. Lord God, as we prepare for Thanksgiving, we humbly, humbly recognize we still have needs, gifts that we ask. So we pray for peace in our world, peace in our city, peace in our neighborhoods. We pray for all of our elected officials that they may be true leaders listening to their people and listening to one another in this meeting today and in future meetings so that they can make decisions with wisdom and justice and equity for the common good, for the greater glory of God. So we pray um, on this day for the many blessings we've already received, for those that served in this city and in our country in the past, for these present, our leaders, our older men and women, and for um, the gift of freedom and the gift of good schools and a chance to form ourselves to be leaders in our city, at our Cristo Rey School and many other schools in this, in this city. We pray especially for uh, teachers and students that learning might continue and that um, extracurriculars like a soccer team might win the state championship again. So uh, we thank God for our coaches at Cristo Rey, for our team, for our cheer team, and for all uh, the family and fans and, and staff that uh, brought them to this state championship. We can end by saying, uh, Viva Cristo Rey. Que viva. Amen. Thank you. Viva Cristo Rey. I will put a plug in for uh, Father Bill. He is always looking for community leaders to participate in his Dancing with the Stars event, correct? That's correct. Yes, okay. So anyone who thinks he's got skills and wants to do something for the school, let Father Bill know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are there any corrections to the, uh, to the journal for the meeting of November 1st? 2022 or the budget adoption meeting of November 4th there are no corrections to the journal there being no corrections the minutes of these meetings stand approved Alderwoman Zamaripa moves that the common council resolve itself into the committee of the whole for the purpose of making a presentation hearing no objections so ordered will the representatives of Crystal Ray Jesuit high school boys soccer team please come forward please come to the area Right here, in front of the chamber. This morning, we are pleased to be recognizing the very best in Wisconsin high school soccer, which is very fitting with the World Cup, as we welcome the WIAA Division IV Boys State Championship team from Milwaukee Crystal Ray Jesuit High School, which is, by the way, in the 12th district on 18th and National. <laughs> The team won the first boys state soccer title in school history by defeating Sheboygan Christian Lutheran 2-0 on November 5th. The Trail Blazers lived up to their nickname all season long going 23-1-1 one and, one, and showing the high school soccer experts that their successful brand of play on the pitch was about excellence, teamwork, and a fiery competitive spirit. Welcome and we are pleased to have you with us this morning. Let's give them a round of applause.
Father, do you or Andy want to say a few words? Maybe I will. Yes. Good morning, everybody. My name is Luke Harrison. I'm the principal here at Crystal Ray Jesuit High School uh, and um, a longtime City of Milwaukee resident uh, in Bayview these days. Um, so proud, proud resident of Milwaukee. Um, an even prouder principal of this group of young men uh, and the uh, many uh, cheerleaders and team managers and coaches that uh, supported them along the way. I want to thank you all not only for this opportunity to recognize this true um, uh, level of excellence that our young uh, scholar athletes have, have achieved, um, but also for the support that helped us uh, come about, uh, including the, the facility that uh, President Perez mentioned a moment ago on 18th and National, and uh, it wouldn't have been possible without the, the work of the City Council for that uh, facility to come to life, including the incredible soccer field that these uh, young men trained on uh, hard for the last several years. Really, it's been two years since we moved into that facility. Um, they have worked incredibly hard, have demonstrated to the rest of the school what it means to truly be a trailblazer and, and I hope have begun to demonstrate to our city uh, as our students do in so many ways and in so many places in our city uh, what the next generation of leaders is going to look like. Uh, our students come from Milwaukee. They are proud to be from here. They are excited to become the next uh, generation of leaders in our community and I, and I think that this soccer team stands uh, as a great example of what that uh, can look like in the future. So thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, congratulations to the team, to Coach Dorn, uh, Mr. D. Dietzik, Reese Dietzik, our athletic director, um, and, and the whole community here at Crystal Wright. Thank you so much.